Nah, it's always been expensive. I got four kids. Bill Campbell says he spends $800 to $1,000 a month to feed his family, saying the reversal in the price of some food items is music to his ears. That was great news. Oh, definitely great news. Every time I come to the store, the price is going up. Meat, milk. Bobby Harmon, however, isn't as optimistic and believes the recent drop in fruit prices is just a temporary trend. It fluctuates. It'll go up, down, up. It the, the, the food market it fluctuates. While the future prices of food are unknown, according to inflation data released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the following items have dropped in price over the last year, including the price of ham falling 3.4 percent, cheese dropping 3.3 percent, and fish and seafood along with potatoes decreasing 2.1 percent. Over the past month, the price of eggs have plunged 7.3 percent, apples falling 2.7 percent, followed by milk and poultry, which also decreased by less than 0.8 percent. While grocery prices may be stabilizing, menu prices are still high, especially at fast food restaurants and casual dining chains, according to the study. The consumers we spoke with at the grocery store say the small price decreases being reported are encouraging, but not yet enough to make a noticeable difference at the cash register. How much do you estimate you spend a month on food? Probably about 300 bucks. What do you think you spent a month on food two years ago? Probably about 150. Yeah, so it's going yeah, up. Yeah, it's going up.